day. Hello everyone. My name is Yonela Jebese from New Brighton. I am a grade 10 learner at Cowan High School. I am part of the Mdali group, which consists of me, Snayo Lungile, no, Tembaletu Aplan. Today we are going to talk about murals at school. The idea was introduced to us by our mentor, Upokalisa Ngubelanga, who couldn't be here today. So, um, the idea, I personally saw the idea as an opportunity to come and showcase my talents as an upcoming youth artist. So, sorry. This idea is to spread more awareness about about murals and how to communicate through art. So um, it's more actually about doing murals as we have huge walls with every uh, non-educational writings on it, like Amaroto, which is reds in English, and Gobo, which means to them. The idea is to give a platform for artistic learners by telling them more about the campaign and by telling them, by allowing them to participate in it. So as a group, we thought of ideas which um, we may use to prevent learners from writing on school walls. The first idea was that we must um, wash the walls with chemicals that will quickly erase everything that is written on it. And then another one was that we must um, paint, just paint over the written walls. And then another one was that we must paint murals. So washing the walls was just a misconception we quickly cleared out. We did this because we thought by washing the walls and doing nothing, we are basically creating more space for the learners to vandalize again. So if you wash the walls and um, yeah, the walls will be clean, but with boring colors. So that's what, that's what will make the learners want to write again, because they want to do an art of their own, which is basically not a right thing, because um, it's, it's making the, the school walls so dirty and not um, attractive. So. Uh, let's say we are trying to build a, a school environment which will, which will involve the mural. So what, what exactly does a school environment consist of? So a school environment consists of interesting, inspiring and educational things and a bit of fun somewhere, somehow. So if, um, if uh, we may compare as a school environment. So our school environment right now has 50% of what is required for a good school environment, meaning that it has 50% inspiring things, it has 50% uh, of interesting things, and 50% of educational things. And I mean that there are educational things, but there are so few, because there are no educational writings on the wall. The only educational things we have is our textbooks inside the classroom and the teacher that will be standing in front of us and sharing information. So if, the, if we, will, we will be having a, a mural on that wall, it must have 100% of everything that is required for a good school environment, meaning that it must have 100% interesting, inspiring, and educational things, rather than just being having insulting words and uh, funny things on that wall. So um, all in all, I say, if we have 50% of what is required for a good school environment, we have 50% of, uh, of the outcomes at the end. So we must have 100% of everything that is required for a good school environment, so that we can also be 100% educational and, and successful in the end. Thank you. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, I just want you to have a picture in your mind because we don't have the painting now. Uh, guys, imagine a painting that shows what the road to success is like and what it has. A painting that will, that will empower and inspire learners and also the environment. Uh, getting to the point, we did a, a little research questioning learners one by one why they write on walls instead of a tire or strap book. 90% of the learners said they want to be heard. They want our school to be attractive and be an example to, to other schools and also the environment. 10%, while I was asking them, they, they just gave me a silly answer. They said they want, they want to leave a mark. They want to be seen, for example, they want to be seen he or she was studying here in Cowan High School, or she was a best or diva in Cowan High School. Uh, as we know, art can talk. 
in many ways. So that's why we came up with this idea of a mural art of education that will tell that it's not always dark and that it can shine. And when it shines, it will shine for many more years for, that will come so that you can never forget where you've been through years back. This art is not about education only, it's about life also. Where in life we face big challenges and sometimes you see yourself that you are not worth living. This art can say don't give up. Life is like a mission where you must finish level one and go to the next level where it leads to success. This art or mural can help us learners to love our books, love education, and it can also increase the average of achievements in Eastern Cape in, and also in our schools. Thank you guys. Thank you.